Parental discretion is advised. ShopWWEShop.com. Now you can get $10 off any order of $70 or more. Click on the link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support the mayhem. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Mayhem Show! It's time to start the web kids. It's time to start up Skype. It's time to meet the asses on the Mayhem Show tonight. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show 294. We have a very serious show no, we don't. coming up there. <laughs> no, it's a variety show of mayhem proportions. I'm Sorg. We do mayhem things here. On the couch is Chachi. He does Chachi things there. Fuck you. That's right. We got GJ Lunchbox. He does things of Lunchbox natures. That's true. It doesn't really work, but it is in fact true. All right. What's up, Rest- hot dogs? Wrestle fan from San Antonio. Hello, infants and hipsters alike. <laughs> oh, he's talking to his people. That's right, he's talking to his people. Hot Wheels, you're here too. Hey. Yeah, I'm back. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I got my wheels unstuck from driving around the... Uh, where was I driving around? Nowhere. So, I'm still here, so I'm done. <laughs> Wow. And Bobby's here. Bobby! Bobby! <laughs> Bobby FJ Town, how you doing? Can we do pretty good. How are you guys tonight? What's that? I said pretty good. How are you guys? We're doing tonight? good. We're doing good. I'll turn you guys on. Normal intro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I could have said we about my here. grocery store. Oh. You can join this madness. Cool for that. You can join us madness uh, every Tuesday at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Of course, uh, we're on uh, wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. You can contact us at the email at Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And and, and you can phone us there at 412-206-WMS-09670. We have stickers, much like Mr. Wheels has back there on his uh, earphone thingies. There you go. Uh, uh, Stickers care of uh sorgatron media 1535 velasco avenue pittsburgh pa 15216 send us a self-addressed stamped envelope or just do something cool on twitter and i will send you stickers in return check out our iphone app dollar 99 android ios devices it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it's where you can get all these kind of things you um, can look at my dick wow <laughs> <laughs> including extra shenanigans we have plenty of them you know tonight. why there are extra shenanigans why are tonight? there extra shenanigans because the Muppets were on Raw yes they and were and anytime you have the Muppets there's gonna be extra shenanigans there is yes. there is uh, and are bound to happen. shout out the Wrestling Revolution has been supporting us we're gonna support them to check them <laughs> out uh, great message board over at uh, the wrestling revolution dot com where my note go my note but they're they're awesome and go check them out <laughs> um so yeah you know, we start the show every week with some uh some uh shenanigans and then some uh shenanigans from you the people yes. so i think Chachi shenanigans. Really wants to, you really want to read this first email hey can we keep track of how many times we use that word shenanigans yes oh, okay i, I use it four okay four we, have, we need a counter on the bottom and then thing. you used it once Mm-hmm. Uh, and now Wheels has used it, and Bobby yep. used now it. Now I'm bored. Move on. Okay. <laughs> w. Now I'm bored. <laughs> uh, I guess I guess we should uh, uh, let people know that we're going to read the fan mail now. Oh yes. Before yes. I start fan reading mail. the fan I was trying mail, trying to get to. I know. Uh, it's time for the Riz mail. Yeah. W M S, and that's what it says, all separated. Why are you showing me? <laughs> <laughs> Just so you, just so you know it. that I'm not really that excited about the email, <laughs> but that's how it's written. You know, I'm completely faking this enthusiasm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because as, all the time. as we all know, Riz sucks. Uh, Rock and Roll Outlaw says he is going to pistol rip the next person that says uh, shenanigans. 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 Oh no. <laughs> Shenanigans. Anyways. Motherfucker, I ain't never been pistol whipped in my life, and I ain't about to start now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. It's time it's for a new Would You Rather. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know how the game is. I do love these. <laughs> I do love these. You know how the game is played. I'm not sure what the hell the last time I hosted the game. I really don't care, nor do you. That is very true. I'm going to play Yahtzee. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? <laughs> huh. What the hell? Anyways, the news hit that one half of WWE's tag team Air Boom, Evan Bourne, was caught doing something naughty naughty and is now suspended. So. Let's take his penis out. <laughs> 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 you know, Lita was visiting Raw last week. Oh, no. Yeah. Return of the Lita jokes! <laughs> I bet, I bet would, you you rather, would you rather... Would you rather... Yeah. A. Give the titles to the awesome truth as quickly as possible and have both Kofi and Bourne go their ways as singles competitors. Two... Wait until Bourne comes back for them to get beat by either Awesome Truth or another tag team. Or, I, 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 turn either <laughs> Bourne or Kofi heel and have a feud featuring two of WWE's best high flyers or other. Until next time, it's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. Riz. There you go. What do you want to do, Chachi? Um... See, this really sucks. Because mm-hmm. I didn't think Bourne would be one of those people to violate this policy. <laughs> yes. which I don't is, think anyone did. Which is why I, I'm assuming that he was just caught smoking pot. Because he's not a big guy. But I, if I had to choose one of these... Um, did we say? Did they say what he got caught doing? No. No. Okay. Gazelle antlers. <laughs> so they can leap. Alright, here's my problem with the A. <laughs> What the fuck? That's awesome. <laughs> so he, he ground. No, Bobby's right. He ground up gazelle antlers and then snorted them. Okay. He can leap. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you say that. Wait, 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 wait. Say it, Bobby, one more time. <laughs> That's it's ridiculous. Because please, can... please say it. One more time. So he can leap. <laughs> it's ridiculous because it's true. Yes, yes, yes. Anyhow, here's my problem with A. Yeah. A, if they both go their own ways in the singles uh, competition, they're going to get squashed. Yeah. Yep. And well, they've already well, done that with Kofi. Yeah. Well, no, Kofi will too. Yeah. Because they continue to just bury him on the card. Mm-hmm. Same um, with Bourne. Right. Um... So I'm gonna have to go with uh, number two because I I I there's only so much you can do with that. Yeah, yeah. And that would get old, and they would stop doing it. Because they would do it. It'd be a half-assed attempt. Right. Yeah. So it, I mean, wait until Bourne comes back, and then have them get beat by another tag team, and just mm-hmm. start a feud there, and rebuild your tag division like you're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Russell fan, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to be in agreement with Chachi. I'm going to go with number two, just from the fact that, I mean, one, it's boosted the tag team division, but also Bourne and Kofi just made a good pair, like Chachi mentioned, uh, where they're not getting, you know, squashed every week. So it's good for both their careers. I, I'd rather, you know, them wait it out until he gets back. Mm-hmm. LB. Um, I, I would also want to, I think they're a great tag team. They work very well together and, um, we should wait till they get back. Um, but I, I think there should be some kind of punishment, um, you know, handed out to Evan Bourne because I mean, come on, man, fucking seriously, fucking, you finally get a title reign in WWE. You've been busting your ass for so long and you get suspended for fucking smoking weed or snorting gazelle horn. Cause <laughs> gazelles have horns. Yes. Yes, yes, they do. Okay, yeah. I think, so I think um, when he makes when he makes his return, he should uh, have to give a sincere apology um, to the entire WWE universe while uh, gently cupping uh, Kofi Kingston's scrotum. Nice. And for those wondering about gazelle antlers, this is what they look like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, the rumor is he got wow. suspended for smoking the the synthetic pot. Okay. Ooh. Really? I, I, which is which? Actually, I've heard reports that that's what most people are going towards now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Rock and Roll Outlet said that that's what the rumor is right. because right. they suspend for the fake pot, but they fine for real pot. You think he'll come back with a mugshot for yeah. for his T-shirt? Oh, I fucking <laughs> hope not. <laughs> what, yeah. what do you think? What do you I think? Bet, I bet. I also bet that's what they got Heath Slater with. Yeah. Uh. He looks like a guy that would smoke pot. Wheels? <laughs> Why? Because he's a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Would would I? Yeah, honestly, I agree with Chachi. Also, well, honestly, it's it's 
Why separate your tag team division? It's doing so well now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about you, Bobby? I think they should give the tag titles to the Awesome Truth and then have The Rock and John Cena win the titles and do nothing with them like they're doing pretty much now anyways. But I don't know. Oh, so, oh I see, Bobby. It's that same storyline they've done like 50 yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Remember, when, uh, remember when John Cena and Shawn Michaels were um, were the tag champions? And uh, remember when uh, Shawn Michaels and uh, Hulk Hogan uh, Hulk Hogan were the tag champions? And uh, remember when um, Hulk Hogan and Edge uh, and Edge were the cha- tag champions? <laughs> and remember when, when Matt Hardy and MVP were the tag champions? So that tells you right there that's what when they're going to do. Did you just snort? Did you just snort? Remember Giselle when Steve Austin and do that with the tag that? champions? So I can leap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leap. <laughs> and leap. Oh. And leap. All yeah. right. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, think. Yeah, that might just, make a good point. Rock and Cena should not win the belts because Rock wouldn't be back in 30 days to defend them. Nope, 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 nope. They're probably going to do it anyways. That's the plan. Mm. That's my plan. I'm sticking to it. The freaking rock. With so many shrank wrapped his skin around his muscles. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right, next email from... No one cares. What? <laughs> I read the only. Actually, there's one more email in there. That... Yeah, so was, yeah. <sighs> but after Sonic that, screwed job. Was let there, me let me just applaud him. No, what? Let me just applaud him. Why? Because his email was incredible. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, let's, let's it... let everybody else know. Eleven one eleven. I really tried not to ba- ba- bag. What? Okay, oh, wait. Yeah, oh wait. Yeah. That was the other one because he scripted the first one. Yeah. Uh, salutations, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Mayhammers. I just thought I w- what? I was raising my hand. <laughs> Never oh. mind. I, uh, I I just thought I would uh, pontificate my musings in regards to our mutual inclinations for professional wrestling before my thesaurus burst, burst into flames. Okay, never mind. I couldn't read that email. All right. The puppets on Raw. <laughs> wow. I'll have to say it's rare when I watch wrestling and growl because there's too much in-ring, in-ring, in-ring action and not enough side segments. <laughs> Kudos <laughs> to the various hands and heinies uh, that brought back my childhood, <laughs> even if just for a little while. Do you think Heath Slater <laughs> liked the idea that Santino can take a magic elixir to win or was uh, that like salt in his wound uh, keep your chin up Heath you'll be jobbing again soon or maybe you can be Alberto Del Rio's personal ring announcer because the uh, repeated abuse of Ricardo's left eye is going to cause it to <laughs> pop out when he yells Alberto Del Rio uh, <laughs> you know, that's my what version I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's my version I can't do the, uh, the no, that's good I like that Okay. <laughs> yeah, really? good stuff. Right, I good told stuff. myself Those I was going I, I, I told myself I wasn't going to bag on TNA because Impact was actually shown a glimmer of improvement and I'm actually trying to praise their efforts it was good in it's good seeing Eric Young in the ring again, even though he looks like Brian Wilson closing on a XXL Chalupa in the Taco Bell commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Robbie E., all the gimmick of Zack Ryder with none of the class, is a less than stellar opponent. Rob Terry has all the personality of Comet the Wonder Horse from Frisco <laughs> County Jr. I could My be goodness. wrong, but I would, I'd rather see Young team up with Af- the Aflac Duck than anybody's grasping for another 15 minutes of fame from the Jersey Shore. What I may are be these viol- I may be violating. Shut your <laughs> mouth. Shut up, this you're young. Amazing. <laughs> These are anti-fetus remarks. I am. I may be vi- violating my bagging guy line. Oh well. There was definite improvement, with only down point being Eric Bishop, codenamed the Albatross. I despise. <laughs> I despise the. <laughs> I'm going to finish the segment later in another segment routine. That was lame on WCW Nitro, and it's still lame now. Anyway, Garrett Bischoff. Here's the trick. If you're going for a family legacy angle, you need a couple things. Number one, talent. You have to be a talented to go over. The legacy is a garn is a garnish to your already established awesomeness. Examples that worked are Cody Rhodes, eventually, and Randy Orton. Examples that didn't work are Lacey Von Eric and David Flair. A truer pedigree couldn't be had, but he just couldn't get over. Um, number two. Uh, like you know, aside from that, keep it. Randy Orton to Cowboy Bob Orton. Randy Orton's gone way further. Yeah, for mm-hmm. one thing. Um, and Ted DiBiase and Cody Rhodes are still kind of working on it. We'll see what happens there. Yeah, They're Cody still- Rhodes is about this. Uh, Cody's yeah, doing very well. A little bit more, and he's probably at the same level mm-hmm. as his dad. Cody's um, the second most over here on WWE right now. True. True. Vicky, Vicky being number one. Number two, a legacy no, to live third. up to. 
Uh, you have to have a legacy to build on, not just ride on. Let's see, the Bischoff legacy. Created the NWO, one of the greatest angles ever to put in a ring. I'll grant that's a great legacy for a promoter. It's oh. bupkis to a wrestler, though. Another Bischoff legacy. Took a decent middle-to-top-tier wrestling company with pretty much unlimited funds and took it on an Icarus flight by trying to keep up with the Joneses or the McMahons and slamming it to the ground. Another promoter legacy, not so much with the good. Uh, now, Little B could be the next Undertaker with a side order of Stone Cold, but the writers haven't done him any favors with the sad push, which is more to keep uh, Eric in the spotlight than help Garrett. Maybe he could uh, date Brooke Hogan before it's over. Mm -hmm. uh, dang, I... <laughs> I let that get away from me. Sorry. I have a great show, guys. Song screw job. Yeah, P.S. Although I did not get a great no. Father's... What? It says, although I did get... Although I did get a great Father's Day card, quote, for the next year. To the dad that didn't waste perfectly good semen. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Sniff. <laughs> that was... Eric a, Bischoff. Was burn Sniffing out. semen. And uh, real quick, I did... Have yeah, Eric... Oh, go ahead, sorry. Oh, there's some Twitters uh, that came through, of course, uh, uh, Matt, at Matt Carlin's. Uh, sent out his his uh, early front runner for the uh, costume of the night on the Pittsburgh South Side, and that was this Macho Man right here. Um, there you go. Nice. That, was, that was pretty. That, that's pretty good Macho Man going on mm -hmm. there. And we also have off of the Twitters and well, okay, it was our Twitter, granted, yeah. but we got this great video to lead us right into the indie report of uh, oh, Jesus. Wrestle Fan getting a chubby. So yes, here we got Andromeda, sir. the transvestite, or buying his Madam, next victim here at ringside, and then comes right on over. High five. Oh, there's a Get sexy it. wrestle fan and a hug. And <laughs> See, she saw me and backtracked. That's how Boner. awesome I am. <laughs> Boner came back for you. Boner Cam. So can't wait to see you get raped next uh next uh choice. Okay. Rape. Why, why would you on. say that? Time for the indie minute. Rape's not funny. Rape's not funny. You're not it funny. is when it's wrestle fan. What's going on? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> it is. Of the light. Okay. It's funny because uh, it's true. <laughs> no, uh, let's start. Uh, let's actually start with uh, Chikara Pro Wrestling. Um, actually, uh, they were scheduled to have uh, two events this past weekend. However, one of their events um, that was in Reading, PA, had to be canceled sadly because of these uh, snowstorms in the area. Um, Boo is, snow! What? Boo snow! We use snow. Such thing. Snow hates wrestling. And apparently, snow hates Mari Gennetti on wrestling shows, but. That's a whole other thing. Boo, <laughs> Marty Gennetti. Hey, Marty Gennetti was going to wrestle your brother at the Chikara show. That's right. <laughs> but uh, Chikara is, uh, still had the show in Williamsport, PA, uh, the next night. Um, it was a, um, The card for their big iPay-Per-View event is starting to come together with the uh, Grand Champions match crowned. Um, another match is that we'll see Icarus go one-on-one -on -one with friend of the show, Gregory Iron. Uh, in what sort of become a heated uh, rivalry between the two and Chikara, um, as well as uh, Green Ant versus Tursus. You can see um, Cole Cabana will be there, El Generico, all your other favorite Chikara stars. If you want to go check them out, it's uh, November 13th in Philadelphia, but also um, if you're not in the Philadelphia area, order the iPay-Per-View event on GoFightLive.tv. Um, it'll be a absolutely great event i can already tell i'm already thinking of ordering it mm -hmm. um so definitely go check that out and uh go support chikara um the next thing i want to know well actually bob, uh, bob before we do that bobby do you want to get into your uh, a1 report for this week why sure i will do that why sure <laughs> um a1 had two pretty big shows this week, one in Johnstown, or one in Altoona and one in Johnstown on uh, last Sunday and the uh, or last Saturday and Sunday. Um, the, the Saturday show in Altoona, the first match of the night was Nomad versus the Manchild, unofficial friend of the show. Manchild! Uh, Sorg has a picture of Manchild dressed as a Ninja Turtle, oh, which man. he was dressed as a Ninja Turtle for this well matchup. Well done. With an ice cream uh, cone also dressed as a Ninja Turtle. Yeah, the um, ice cream Nomad accused Manchild of going through pu puberty. He called him Man Man. And fathering <laughs> Bobby Man Trample's Man. unborn child. 
What the hell? Uh, during the match, Manchild revealed his angry mask, but it, but Nomad put his smiley mask back on, only for Manchild to reverse it and hit the uh, play times over for the victory. <laughs> These are, uh, what the hell? <laughs> Man, Randall Charles Fairway amazing. versus James Ford for the AONPA, a- AONPA Heavyweight Championship was the uh, main event for the Altoona show. Um, operation hit uh, oper- The operation hit the ring before the match even started and attacked James Ford. Uh, Randall Fairway got the, the win by hitting James Ford with a briefcase. Um, the operation pulled former GM Samantha Sanders and Drew Shannon into the ring uh, and beat them all down. Drew actually ended up going to the hospital because of the incident. Uh, then C4 came out from the back to stop the violence against the oper- or to stop the violence, but he turned on ISP along with the operation, and they beat him to a, pl- a pulp. And Kess Edison, a- friend of the show, Kess Edison, actually deported ISP back to Iran. Oh no! Oh, not <laughs> Iran! Is he, he, he deported him back to I wonder if he's in the, want, he's in the shipping whatnot. container with uh, Rob De La Creta over on the Awesome Cast. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and then, no! No! Then the next night in Johnstown, uh, they beat X Man down before he could have his title match, um, and he didn't receive his title shot due to a broken arm. This led to Manchild replacing the X Man for the ti- for his first ever title shot in AON. Uh, since since X Men was able to compete, uh, Manchild got his mask ripped. Or he ripped his mask off again. However, this time, this is really funny how it happened too. Randall Fairway put on the smiley mask, and they did like a mirror thing. And Manchild <laughs> was like really confused, and he hit him with the briefcase and got the win. Uh, then, oh, out of the blue, Project 13 come out and attacked the operation. And Kess Edison fired both of them, or told them both to get out of, the, out of the ring. At that time, the ring announcers were handed a paper saying that the AON board of directors has said since ISP was deported, there was no general manager. So they appointed... Um, Drew Shannon, the general manager of AON, and he rehired Project 13 and kicked Kess and everybody out of the ring. And that's how the show ended. There you go. Oh, there you go. That? It, was, it was a pretty good weekend for AON. Nice. Nice. Interesting. Excellent. Now, uh, let's see. Let's go around Horde. Well, hey, you know, I, I actually attended some uh, wrestling this past weekend. Some I usually Bullshit. don't. I, I, what? I did. I did. <laughs> you did not. I did. I did. I did. I How did I sort? Was that your first PWX show? No, no. My last oh. PWX show was the one where Bobby Beverly kicked the front off my camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, but no, I, the PWX, NWA East, they're also known as, uh, opened up their new venue. And this is going to refresh. There it is. There's actually, there's a good shot of it there. Uh, they bought a building in McKeesport uh, outside of Pittsburgh here. And this was their 17th anniversary show. Now, really? I, this has never been like a huge group or anything, but it's been a long time group. And of course, they got a little bit of the NWA, you know, whatever you think of that lineage going on there. A uh, friend of the show, Super Hentai, returned to the PWX to take on Chris Taylor uh, with a Pittsburgh Dream match. Um, um, and, and, and there's a lot of good stuff. Great ladder match between Strider, um, uh, Patrick Hayes, and who's that guy that's always on RWA? Uh, 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 oh, Ashton Amherst. Ashton Hamhurst. Tremendous one. Uh, um, I took my, my father-in-law to it for his first uh, live wrestling, apparently since the 70s. Uh, and that was definitely, he definitely enjoyed it. The venue has definitely got a little bit of that ECW vibe to it. Like, it's their building. As you can see from the picture, like, they have their logo up and everything. They have their, their wall of respect over in the corner. It is their building through and through. The guardrails are built in. It's it's pretty tremendous. They filled the place. I, I wonder how much room they're going to have for future shows. Uh, but go check that out. I think they're doing shows every two or three weeks. So they're going to be doing fine for for <laughs> having their own building and everything. Uh, NWAEast.com if you want to check out that. And they have DVDs and stuff, too, I think. I don't know. Uh, if you want to check it. And they have YouTubes and everything, too. Uh, so... Microphone. What's that? Is it someone is rubbing their microphone? Yeah, it sounds like someone's purring. <laughs> Not me. Not me. 
Um, I, you know, uh, Wrestle fan, is your mom listening to me again? Oh, oh. oh as far as, yeah. as far as local wrestling, you want to throw a shout out there? Hot Wheels, you happen to be involved in a little something. Oh, well, yes, I am. And I'm sorry I, for bashing their website the other day. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, no, no it's all right. I'm sorry. It, 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 it needs some work. You know, I agree, I'm sitting honestly. here on Fios and I'm loading the front page, and it's you know your your, your show poster. Uh, I uh, wonder why it was taking so long to load. It's 18 megabytes. I was wondering because it's been doing that on my it's pretty, laptop also. Pretty large, pretty large for being on the internet like that. So who's purring? I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to narrow it down here. I. I I'll, I'll work on that. Uh, I, I know it's not you, um, uh, but Wheels, tell us what's coming up this weekend. Uh, I, I know we talked about before, and actually I'll bring up the show of you. I'm glad you avoided the zombies previously. Yes, I did. Oh, man. Well, that's good. So, uh, but uh, this weekend is open season three for RWA. Means there's some hunting. What's that? Means there, there's hunting. Uh, hunting. Yeah. He's, he says Hunting. 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 Ah, says hunting. No, there's no wabbits there. Okay, I'll oh, go. Good, 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 good. No wabbits. Let's see. But there is a lot of craziness going on. I mean, three matches are announced on our Facebook and on, of course, uh, rwalive.com. It's going to be a rematch of the future Calvin McGrath, who is the new RWA heavyweight champion, versus Kato. Kato! <laughs> Kato! And then we also have a PA regional title match coming up with Chris LaRusso versus uh, Simply Best Ryan Edmonds in a no DQ match, no feel bad five at ringside, no bad referees of Troy Davis. So it's going to be a one on one fight to the finish. Okay. And then we have the new RWA tag team champions, S. Sorg. I remember you messaging me about this. It's like Bizarro World from NWA East that, to RWA. That is you the best part. You have Strider, that... who is ha- one half of the RWA Tag Team Champions with Ashton Amherst. That was the weird thing. Now, Strider is the only constant, because I don't think that guy could be a heel. Uh, but uh, he's definitely... Uh, everybody that was... Just about everybody that was a bad guy was a good guy in, 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 in the in the show Saturday night. It was just very bizarre world from what I've been seeing taping for RWA down there. So, But uh, that's coming up this weekend. You guys, of course, have DVDs online and a YouTube channel for people to check out in the yes, meantime. Yes, we do. So go check that out. Uh, Russell fan, is there anything else before we get to our interview? Uh, the only note that I want to make is uh, actually a little bit about our interview. Um, River City Wrestling, we talked to Brandon Oliver last week on the show. Um, their event, Return to Glory 4, will be this Saturday at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church uh, in San Antonio, Texas. Um, just to look, uh, the man who will be interviewing later in the show, uh, uh, Ray Rowe, uh, he will be in action, as well as um, TNA star Hernandez will also be in action. Uh, mm-hmm. Former WCW star Gorgeous George will be um, at th- this event. She will be refereeing a match. The match she will be refereeing has yet to be determined. So it will be interesting to see what comes of that. We will see um, friend, hopefully friend of the show and friend of mine, definitely, uh, Andromeda <laughs> will be defending. Special friend of yours. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> friend of your Him, wiener. her. <laughs> will be defending his international championship against the minister Rick David. Uh, we'll see Big Dog versus Joey Spector in a semifinal match for the Ring King Tournament. Uh, Jingle Wallaby and Honky Kong make their first... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Make their first defense of the uh, RCW Tag Team titles against the former champions... Um, ben Galvan and AJ Summers of the Gulf Coast Connection. Jingle John. <laughs> Who again? Wait, you say what? <coughs> Jingle John. Jingle Wallaby. Oh, Wallaby. <laughs> Wallaby. <laughs> uh, That's Australian, match. Chachi. Uh, yeah, I know. Hey, hey, Wrestle fan, make sure you give he, she, or love. I will. Uh-huh. From the rest um, of the Into her arms. Uh, in her, into his his her arms. Four way match where the winner will move to the uh, semifinals of the Ring King tournament. It will be uh, Sebastian Envy versus Reina Pink versus Darcy Drake versus Quentin Allen. Uh, also appearances by Steve McEnroe, 
uh, Nemesis, Muerte, and all your favorite RCW stars. Um, if you want tickets for the event, it's RiverCityWrestling.net. Go check you out, or go check them out. I will be in attendance. If you see me, or I see you, or somewhere in that nature, I will be handing out Wrestling Mayhem show stickers. So just come up and say hey, and you know I'll yes, give you a yes. Uh, he will be the one with the chop. Wrestling Mayhem show stickers all over his shirt. And give him a okay. Chop. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. And with that, Russell Fan, take away with our interview. And we are here with a very special guest. Um, the baddest man in IWC, uh, the man with the killer instinct, the man of many nicknames, uh, Ray Rowe. Ray, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well, guys. How are you? Doing great. Uh, so we've had you on the show before. We've talked to you in the past, uh, but it's been a, it's been a good while. Um, for those that haven't uh, heard of you before or seen you before in the show, tell us uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm uh, I'm a blue collar kid. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, you know, I just I played I played sports my whole life. Um, I was an amateur. I was a very high level um, collegiate wrestler. Um, I wrestled at St. Ignatius High School and and then uh, at Case Western Reserve, and then uh, got trained for professional wrestling under under veteran Lou Marconi. Um, I also worked with uh, Josh Prohibition and M Dog Twenty um, a lot. In, and then uh, and then I actually broke in under the first guy to give me give me a real a real break in the business was uh, was J T Lightning in Cleveland. Um, and then you know I I've been wrestling since two thousand three. So I, I primarily was in the tri-state, you know, Michigan, Cleveland, or Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania circuit. Um, and then within the last two years, I moved down to Texas and uh, kind of took over San Antonio. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we know uh, we know you most of the show from your time in like IWC and also a lot of the Cleveland area shows. But I've seen you recently. Um, I went to the past couple of shows for RCW um, over in Cleveland. Uh, you haven't been in, the, in that company for a while, but uh, you've made a pretty good impact, I would say. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've um, I came in to uh, I moved down to to Houston. And uh, was immediately contacted by Brandon Oliver from uh, our school, who's a managing partner and promoter from RCW. And we started negotiating about bringing me into his company. Um, he was familiar with me through, you know, various things that I've done, you know, that I, was, that I did up north. Um, mm-hmm. I came in, and, and, and to be honest with you, I came in with a bit of a chip on my shoulder. Um, <laughs> you know, I kind of, I kind of, you know, came in. Cause I was the hot free agent. You know, there were a couple other companies that were trying to talk to me. Um, I chose RCW, um, because they offered me the best package. Um, and I thought that they had the best overall show, um, and mm-hmm. potential in, in, in the really in anywhere, anywhere even close, um, to where, where I am in Texas. So I, uh, I came in there and, uh, I think my first match was in the main event for, uh, the title, and I've been in the title picture ever since. I mean, all of my matches were either directly for the title or in regards to the title. Mm-hmm. I won the title probably five months ago, and uh, I've taken on all comers since then. Um, and, you know, the uh, the crowd in San Antonio has kind of uh, quickly gotten behind me. Um, it didn't matter what I was doing or who I was facing. They uh, They kind of adopted me. And uh, and now they they can't get enough. The harder I hit people, the louder they cheer. Mm-hmm, exactly. Uh, yeah, I've seen some of your stuff of late. You know, uh, I went the first show I went to was the one last month actually with uh, you and Quentin Allen, which was a great match. Uh, uh, you wrestled guys in RCW like the Headhunters was one of the ones that I saw that was uh, pretty prominent. Um, you, I believe you had a good series of matches also with uh, Gerard St. Christopher, who was the one that you actually beat for the championship. Yeah. Um, so do you, uh, do you feel like the competition level over there is kind of matching, you know, the stuff you were getting over in the East coast? Uh, honestly, I really do. Um, I think that each, each segment of the company has, or country has, uh, you know, has some high level talent. Um, Mm -hmm. and I've always tried to be in it, be in the companies where you get the most high level talent all concentrated together. Um, you know, I wrestled, you know, since, since being an RCW, I wrestled, uh, 
against Hernandez from TNA, against mm-hmm. Lance Hoyt from WWE, Gerard St. Christopher, who actually trained under Killer Kowalski. Um, that kid's been all over the world. Um, you know, he he trained, uh, he tra- like I said, he trained under Killer Kowalski in Boston. Um, he, he did a stint through Canada and then has come down through Texas. Um, real, real tough customer that uh, Quentin Allen was a, was a very tough opponent. So, I mean, like, there, there's definitely some very, very good um, competition down here. And it's, it's, it, it's every bit as stiff as I was used to in, uh, in Cleveland. I mean, if you look at my career, I've always kind of gravitated to the top of the card. And, uh, and you know, because mm-hmm. of my size, my power, my stuff like that, I mean, there's, there's not I, – I will always be in contention for a heavyweight title because there's just not many people on the indies that – are head and shoulders above me. I'm, I'm looking everybody dead in the eye. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, well, you mentioned your match with Quentin Allen at the last show. Um, and you also mentioned Hernandez. I was at the last event and there was, uh, there's some pretty interesting stuff, I guess, going on right now between, uh, between you and Hernandez, a little, a little controversy behind, um, something that started just over the title and I guess has evolved into something completely else. Uh, do you want to uh, go into that maybe a little bit? Yeah. Um, Hernandez is a guy that I've known for a couple years now. And uh, up until the past couple months, I thought that, uh, you know, I had, I had a pretty healthy respect for him. You know, um, he was one of those guys that, you know, anytime he came into a company, you know, I would either try to, you know, we would butt heads or, you know, I, I had a lot of respect for him. And uh, I've, I've, I've locked horns with him a couple times in RCW. And, uh, this last, this last show, he, uh, he never said anything to me. I didn't even know he was in the, I didn't even know he was at the show. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm in the ring wrestling Quentin Allen. And all of a sudden I see him come through the front door and goes and sits down right next to my wife. Yeah. I was, I mean, I was in the crowd to the other side. I barely even noticed like he had even come out. So it was, yeah, I mean, like, he didn't, you know, his music didn't hit. It wasn't like, uh, you know, like, he made an entrance. Like, he snuck in the back door mm-hmm. and sat down next to my wife and put his arm around her, started talking to her. Now, don't get it twisted. I trust my wife. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But I, but I do not trust Hernandez. Mm-hmm. My thing is, if you, if, you want, if you want a shot at me, if you want a title shot, I'll, I'll fight anyone. I mean, that's in my calling card wherever I've gone. I've never, I've never been one to run from a fight. But come mm-hmm. to me straight up. Do not try to play games and hit on my wife and take pictures with her and flirt with her via Twitter and, and, and be text messaging her to try to get in my head. That's not going to work. I'm just going to punch you in the mouth. Mm-hmm. You know, like I don't, I don't doubt her loyalty. Some people might, some people, you know, that might really, really bother some people. But to me, it's an insult. Right. It's not a threat. It's insulting. Be a man, you know. And I, tr- I tried to tell him that, and he just walked out. But I, as soon as the match was over, I came out. I came out of the ring. I tried to talk to him. He ran right out the front door. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, and, and, and it, he, I, I've seen some of the stuff that he's been doing at RCW, and it seems like for some reason now he's kind of like gotten more of an attitude as of late. I don't know. Uh, he was, I guess, he was talking about. I saw the promo on the um, RCW uh, television show, or internet show this past week, and uh, mentioning about you know your title compared to his TNA tag title and stuff like that. So I, maybe it's just an attitude change from him. I'm not. I'm, yeah, I mean, I don't. I think he's getting a big head, like. You know, I don't know what, what, what they're telling, you know, who he's got in his ear in Florida or, you know, who's telling him what, but, but that dude needs a reality check. Like Mm -hmm. he might, he might think, yeah, he's on TNA. Yeah. He goes to Mexico. Yeah. He goes to Japan. He's a big deal and he is a legitimate heavyweight contender and a superstar anywhere he goes unquestionably. I'm not going to take that away from him. Mm Mm-hmm. He's a big, strong dude with credentials out the door, but he doesn't need to be trying to play the games that he does. So that just, to me, doesn't even make any sense. Like, why, 
why would you be doing that? Why, why do you need to get a big head? Why do you need to, you know, come in with, with that type of attitude when you don't have to? Like, I understand like a, a smaller guy, like a, like a John McChesney in IWC, mm-hmm. you know, that dude, he, he's 190 pounds, you know, going in against, going against me, you're not going to come toe to toe. He can't, he's right. not going to last. Everybody knows that. Everybody has seen that every time it happens, he goes toe to toe with me and I smash him, you know, but you got to play the head games. You got to play dirty. You got to do whatever. Hernandez doesn't need to be doing this. I don't understand right. why he is. But he is. But, you know, we'll see how far that gets him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, d- I know that you and Hernandez actually met up in uh, IWC, I guess, and had a match. I know Sorg was um, Sorg was uh, in attendance for that one. I'm excited to see if that will, you know, transfer over uh, into a future match in RCW. Yeah, that, it's always interesting I, to be. You know, I uh, like I said, I've, I've never been one to run from a fight. And if he keeps talking to my wife the way he does and insulting me as a man, you guys might not be able to see that fight because I'll just walk up to him and punch him in the mouth. Like if it happens in a ring, if they're going to put it in the ring, that's great. If not, I'll see him on the street. I'll see him in the locker room. I'll just punch him in the mouth. Mm-hmm. I grew up that way. I, you know, it's, it's not, not a stretch of, uh, not a stretch for me to just check him. Right. You know, yeah, other exactly. People might, other other people might be intimidated because you know he's a, he's a stud and he's on he's on TV every week, but uh, he's going to have to go to Dixie Carter and explain where that black eye came from. <laughs> uh, speaking hey. speaking of the I, IWC days, uh, I, I, you know, and say I'm still up here in Pittsburgh where I first got to see you uh, as a Cleveland Mafia. Uh, you know, still get the Pittsburgh fans behind you, and, and, and it was, so it was, it was sad to see you having to take off, but it's great to see you back again. Um, hey, hey, you know, can, can you explain, uh, you know, how's it feel being back kind of where, uh, where a name was definitely made for you, at least in the Pittsburgh area here? Um, I love coming back to IWC. Um, I mean, any, any chance that, uh, that I can get up and wrestle in front of the Pittsburgh fans is, is, is a good opportunity for me. Um, IWC is definitely one of the, the first companies with like a national footprint mm-hmm. that I, uh, you know, that I kind of got, got a name with that I, uh, I started to build my reputation. And, uh, so I, I mean, I, I said IWC to me is my second home. Um, it has been, it'll, it'll always be. Um, and, and like, like I said, the guy before, you know, I've had a, an on again, off again, run in with John McChesney now for going on probably three, three, three years where, you know, one-on-one straight up, I, I kick his ass, but he somehow weasels out of it. He somehow, you know, plays numbers games, jumps in from behind, does all kinds of stuff to somehow hold on to that belt. And this last show that I was at, um, I'm actually still kind of dealing with some of the effects because, uh, a guy that I, I thought was my friend, J rock came out. And, uh, right when I had the IWC title one, uh, hits me in the face with a fireball. Um, so this last trip to Pittsburgh wasn't exactly what I, I had expected um, because after the show, I go to um, Allegheny County Hospital mm-hmm. and uh, end up getting treated because he seared my uh, seared the cornea in my in my left eye. And mm-hmm. I'm still not seeing everything cor- correctly out of my left eye, which is fantastic being two weeks later and uh, somebody like that who. I didn't have a problem with the last time I saw J rock was at my wedding and, and yeah. that's a, that's a shoot. The last time I saw him was at my wedding. He shook my hand. We were friends. The next time I see him, he's throwing fire in my face. Jeez. Um, I, you know, uh, oddly, uh, as I was saying, we were, we were, we were talking today, setting up this interview. Um, J rock has been a thorn on my side too. Obviously not as bad as you, uh, because I've been getting, uh, spams from his email account. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh give them one for me because i'm getting tired of it um <laughs> yeah 
If, I uh, I, I'll trade the spam for the uh, for the seared cornea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, mean I don't know. <laughs> I mean, unless he's legit sending me uh, stuff for penis react, uh, pe- penis uh, 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 enlargements. enlargements and and Cialis <laughs> and everything. I don't know. Maybe this is his side business outside of wrestling, which you know, <laughs> I, obviously, he, you know, uh, fire throwing has become a new skill for him. So um, right. Uh, hey, but I mean, but uh, they, call him, they call him the big daddy. So you never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, and, and, you know, I, that mask, I'm sure it came from came from his own collection. Um, but anyways, oh, <laughs> but no, that was crazy. <laughs> I was ringside there, of course, on camera and uh, uh, had no idea there was a fireball coming like that. That was that was pretty insane. That last show. Um, and I actually, thankfully, I, I missed Cage Fury. Uh, it was great to see you uh, 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 tearing people apart in a cage again, sir. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> so, excellent, excellent. Uh, Wheels, you're you you're a long time IWC uh, uh, follower. You have any questions for for uh, Ray Row? Uh, let's see. Thinking, it, it has been a long time since I've seen you, Ray. Uh, I keep following you via your uh, Facebook and stuff like that. I don't go to IWC, so I will tell you because uh, <laughs> I've been working indie shows myself. Right. So. <laughs> But I keep an eye on you, and I'm still impressed with you. And I remember the last, like the first time I met you was, I think, when you, your second appearance in IWC, and everybody was saying you ate dog food, and you threw your shirt at me. And I still have that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Uh-huh. That, I think I wrestled Jason, Jason Cage on that show, right? I th- Yeah, yeah, oh, I think wow. it was. <laughs> yeah awesome. I, remember, I actually remember that that's um that's crazy blast from the past uh-huh. yeah, <laughs> exactly uh, it's 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 been a long road you know so i mean but, like but i mean i actually i actually hear from a lot of people from from up up north in in cleveland and pittsburgh and philly and detroit like places where i used to wrestle um you know still people are following me on facebook or on my Twitter, you know, at Raymond Rowe, um, there's a lot of people that will still contact me. Hey, man, when are you coming back up? When are you coming back up? You know, or trying to get a hold of RCW to see DVDs or, or whatever to try to follow me. So, I mean, that makes me feel good to know that I had that type of an effect on people that even after I left for a year and a half, they're, they're still trying to follow me, follow my career online and, and do what they can to stay involved. It's definitely somebody that's uh, that that's made an impact. Uh, you know, obviously, all of us from from different corners of the country here uh, that that have, that have been have been uh, following you for a bit. Uh, so, please let us know where can everybody check you out here in the near future? Then, um, the 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 next show is uh, is going to be in RCW, which <laughs> is in San, uh, San Antonio this Saturday um, at St. Goliath. Um, it's it's an RCW Super Show event. Um, I know that I will be there. Um, I, I don't know who I'm wrestling. Whoever, you know, I'll be in the middle of that ring answering the bell. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, you guys, you guys have known me for a long time. You know, that's my, my style. I don't really care because my style's not going to change. I'm going to come straight ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to bulldoze whoever's in front of me. So I'll be standing in the middle of the ring waiting for, for whoever's music plays and is going to come down and get an ass whooping. Um, I know, I know there's some other really, really good matches that night. Um, you can find RCW on Facebook or on rivercitywrestling.net um, and find information on their shows and, and the rest of the lineup. Uh, now, one, uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about. Um, we know, we've talked about, you know, you and RCW and IWC. You're obviously a very, uh, very skilled in your craft. Um, but you've actually moved uh, also into the big screen uh, for a little – you had a, a, a pretty uh, interesting role in that um, new Warrior movie um, starring uh, TNA star Kurt Angle. Um, do you yep. want to tell us a little bit about uh, what came of that and how uh, you got involved with that? Um, yeah, I actually um, – a good friend of mine got cast in that movie um, first and uh, – he actually um, he was one of Eric Eric Apple's um, cornermen, the the Mad Dog character that uh, mm-hmm. Tom Hardy beats up early in the show or early in the film. Um, the, my friend is RJ. Um, he's got he's really easy to pick out. He's the only one with tattoos over ninety percent of his face. <laughs> um, and uh, so 
so he was at, they were actually filming for two weeks and they were looking for characters who could, could look Russian. Um, mm. and you know, had that, had that kind of intimidating look and, uh, and RJ had, you know, mentioned my name and showed a picture to the, uh, to the casting director. And, and I got a phone call and, and they told me to be in Pittsburgh and I spent six weeks in Pittsburgh filming. Um, we actually did, you know, I was on screen for maybe 15 seconds, but, uh, you know, I, we, we filmed a lot of stuff that got left on the cutting room floor. So I guess that's, you know, that's the way the music or the, the movie business works. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. I got to meet a lot of, a lot of good people. Um, I, I met everybody in that film and everybody was super nice. It was super fun to work with. Um, I got to spend a lot of, a lot of time with Kurt Angle, who was one of my, um, the reasons why I got into pro wrestling. So that was a mm -hmm. huge draw for me. Um, you know, he's somebody who I, I kind of modeled certain aspects of my career after because, uh, you know, my style in the ring and my, my, my attacks and such like that. I really look up to Kurt, um, as a performer and as a human, like I got to know him as a person through that. And, uh, you know, I've stayed in contact with him. So it's, that was actually to me way cooler of a, of a bonus than, than being on the, on the screen for 15, 15 or 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. I, I was, I was very intrigued when I saw that, uh, uh, it's very cool, and hope, I definitely hope that maybe you can uh, definitely maybe get some more uh, roles like that. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I definitely left it open because uh, I did earn my uh, my Screen Actors Guild credits for the for the role um, because I was a credited actor. You know, I, I did earn a, the the SAG credits. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I I think I think I could play a convincing heavy. You know, in uh, in a lot of roles, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see. What, you know, I, I never really close any doors. You know, mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see what happens. Excellent. Well, uh, that that's all we have. Uh, th thanks so much for having uh, uh, having uh, yourself on, uh, Ray. <laughs> uh, so, I'm all flustered. Uh, it's a great interview. Um, so yeah, definitely, like you mentioned, uh, go to uh, RCW Wrestling or RiverCityWrestling dot net. Uh, go to the show this Saturday, so you can see Ray as well as uh, myself. Who will be there and there's all the other uh rcw stars and of course everything uh will be uh but there's a lot of, a lot of videos online on their youtube channel after the fact uh so uh go check that out yes. for everybody not in san antonio and i don't know do they have dvds of the shows usually um i don't know about the dvds mm -hmm. um that's something that that you'll have to contact them about but i do know their youtube channel they uh they do internet shows after every show very a lot better they're actually a lot better about that than uh just about every fed that I, I've, I've mm -hmm. worked with, they're really trying to get into social media. They're really trying to saturate, you know, online presence. So uh, they're, they're pretty easy to find. Just look up River City Wrestling on pretty much any platform and you'll find them. Excellent. I know that's uh, I think that's how WrestleFan got into you guys before finally coming down there. And, yeah, uh, definitely. and uh, a lot of guys can check that out. But, hey, you, all, you, all you guys out there saying, hey, check out some different uh, wrestling. Got no excuse not to check out RCW. Uh, and IWC has got a lot of stuff online, too, to check out at IWCWrestling.com, including Mr. Raymond Rowe. Thanks a lot, uh, Rowe, for joining us. And uh, I can't wait to see you, guys, see you again up here in Pittsburgh. Yep. Tell, uh, tell, tell Chuck Roberts to, uh, to sign to make J-Rock sign a contract so I can come up and kick his ass on IWC. For sure. I got a lot of words for Chuck Roberts. I'll slip that in there, too. <laughs> All right. Thanks, sir. All right. Thanks a lot. Incense. Okay. <laughs> Incense. I'm just like, what the fuck? I just looked at the monitor and it's saw like I'm smoke. I'm lighting the studio on like, fire. That's your yeah. fucking problem, Sorg. I can yeah, see I it. noticed that. I was like, you're paw prints all over the... Uh, you're sure they're not fresh? Yes, I took you a picture. You didn't taste fresh? them? No, I didn't I taste them. Garbage can. What's so that? I'll just take the bat with you just in case. The can. bat's coming with me just in case. Josh, are you in for Wednesday? One. What am I going to do with 753 Nintendo games other than brag about it? Play them <laughs> and play them. Blog. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Finally, Mad Mike has come back to a pre-recorded segment. Um, yeah. Uh, welcome to the first installment of Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem. And um, here to talk about The Rock, mostly. Um, The Rock, uh, you know, I, I'm i going to Survivor Series. I'm kind of hoping that what we see at Survivor Series is not just like, um, 
Zack Ryder holding an action figure of The Rock pretending to wrestle. Actually, I'm lying. That would be pretty awesome. But uh, my problem with The Rock is that just, you know, if you have to actually show up on TV. You have to show up on the program. You have to do something to make the fans care about seeing you. Because if you're not interacting live with them in the studio, then your promos just don't work as well. You could have done the same exact promo in the arena, and it would have gotten a much better reaction. But other than that, Raw was fantastic. Um, the Muppets were some of the funniest shit I've ever seen. And <laughs> uh, Miss Piggy and Kermit saying, woo, 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 you know it, uh, will probably be one of the highlight highlights of Zack Ryder's life. All right, well, uh, take care. Spike your hair. What's up, hot dog? Welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I am uh, the one and only DJ Lunchbox, and I'm here to take you back to a kinder, gentler, a more violent, more extreme time. <laughs> take a take a trip with me as we remember when. It was the 90s. I don't exactly remember when. A lot of my childhood was a bit of a blur. I would uh, stay up late and uh, watch television because uh, this was before the internet. Or at least before I had it. Um, and there was, uh, there was something on the television that it, honestly it confused me. It threw me for a loop because it seemed like an infomercial. There were no commercials. Like there, when they would do commercial breaks, it was just ads for um, for the, the the show that was on, uh, selling DVDs and merchandise and things like that. I remember I remember it being on very late, and I remember um, that they often showed video of a, uh, a very attractive Asian lady <laughs> stripping on top of a building. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm still not sure why, many, many years later, but this, uh, my friends, was my introduction to ECW. Oh. Somebody barking? What was that? <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, this, this was my in uh, introduction to ECW. I saw, I, I, I honestly, I don't know the era. I have no time frame, but it was, uh, I had loved wrestling my entire life, but this was wrestling as I had never seen it before. It was bloody. It was violent. It was extreme. There were naked women everywhere. It was absolutely fantastic. So I'm not taking you back to a specific time uh, time period because I don't remember what it was. Um, but what I would like you to do, uh, if you're a fan of extreme wrestling um, in general or ECW like I am, just take a moment, reflect back on uh, your first exposure to ECW, and then stare at the camera with a stupid look on your face as we, together, remember when... Sork? There was a glare, glorious shot of a man beating another man with a trash can during that fantastic <laughs> segment. Thank, Sork got distracted. Thank you very much. Thank you At very first, much. I for thought that. you were talking about Girls Gone Wild. I think it was on right after it. Um, yeah. 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 Wow. So, um, beyond that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there's a bit of wrestling of course the Muppets we've alluded to several times uh, but let's see if there's any Stop other wrestling Muppets that... let's put it in their felt <laughs> don't forget to use bank bottom <laughs> wow that was yeah, really it was a little off. weird but it's okay it yeah. uh, so, so let's lucky. get really serious with the uh, with this uh, and John Cena says farewell to the Jords and comments on his new ring gear no, not we. Me oh. and me and Sword talked about this last night. The jorts aren't working. <laughs> Rise above. Or, I mean, no, I no. mean, the camo shorts aren't working. Okay. Rise above jorts. Okay, you're you're very mad at seeing his leg. I I don't. That's too <laughs> much knee. It's way too much knee. He's not Amish. <laughs> There's Amish, no reason why he can't Amish. wear the, jorts, the same length of the jorts, but in camo. 
That's my thoughts on everything. That's the only thing that matters to me. Rise above shorts. Excellent. Rise above shorts. And as usual, (laughs) no one cares what you think. Oh, that's not nice. It is. It's not nice. Don't do that. Don't do that to him. He's He's a a child. No one cares. He's a child. I need to hear what you say. I mean, seriously. No one cares. Uh, I believe the children are our future. Not that one. Teach them them well. (laughs) Teach them them well and let them lead the way. Not that one. (laughs) That one. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. That child will lock us up in a home and forget about us at at the first chance. He led the way before it was cool. Swear to God. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> fucking hipster. Uh, and you and your fucking do rag in the summer and your fucking goddamn pants that are too tight and your shorts that are just slightly too short and make me feel weird in my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wow. something else that will make you weir- feel Puppets. weird a little bit below. Uh, Maurice has been released from the WWE. So... And she had a special release party. Cake in the break room. Cake. Well, there was cake. Uh, cake, in the, wasn't, cake in the, yeah. wasn't precisely in the be- break room, but there you go. A, that a, sucks, cake. though. Because, I mean, she was improving. She Why was, couldn't have been Eve? Maurice was excellent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She had no right to dress as Robin. She should not have had cake. She should have had pie and left her back door open for straight. Uh, 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 Whoa! Uh, hey. <laughs> hey now. Yeah. Oh, he's not telling tales out of school. I, I completely agree. <laughs> Thank you. What thank the you. fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a shame, God damn it! Who <laughs> says <laughs> that? <laughs> oh, what? he's not saying tales out of school. He's not telling tales out of school. He's not making up stuff. He's not out of line here. He's absolutely <laughs> correct. Leave that back door open for Strudel. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, fuck are you yeah. talking about? That's what I learned from wrestling. What I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what? I. You know what? So. I had an experience with wrestling today. Okay. I watched what is most likely the greatest wrestling DVD <laughs> anyone could ever watch. <laughs> yes, let's talk ever. about that. All right, what did you ever. watch today, Chachi? Well, at last week, I, we showed that... Did you I bring re- that? Yeah, it's over can we, here. Can we over here. Can we watch it now? <laughs> wait, wait, actually, I can probably find it. I can probably find it on here. All right. But, um... <laughs> so, last week, I showed you that I received a DVD in the mail that says, Play Me. And, of course, I was scared because... Was it Saw? No, it wasn't. And it wasn't The Ring because I'm still alive. But, um, <laughs> yeah, anytime... Clearly. You, anytime you receive a DVD in the mail that says, play me, you die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but... This well, that true. dude has awesome hair. I, I, I put it... Is this part of the one you watched? No, actually... There's a different one. Okay. Uh, the char- that character, um, Jimmy Van Halen, I believe, <laughs> he cut his hair and he lost his shirt. But, um, yeah, it's five dollars to wrestling, and the one it says I watched, Sean Van Halen. Okay, Sean, John, I was close, <laughs> Sean John Van Halen. Yeah, but um, <laughs> he has nice pants, what an interesting blend of styles, <laughs> Sean John Van Halen. <laughs> oh, I they corrected me in the chat yes, room, yes, Does yeah, come to the ring going, I'm uh-huh. not gonna die for another yeah. six days. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> So I I won't be on next week's show. I'm I, sorry. Um, nice no, I it, it sucks. It, it's been nice knowing you guys. Anyhow, um, so they they did a, a tournament of champions. Look at this green screen job. <laughs> yeah, no, no, and it gets better. Floating. <laughs> but um, they they fixed it in the next in the the one after this. I believe. Okay. Okay. But um, the one I the one I received was uh, a tournament of champions to ch- crown. The five dollar champion, champion of champions. <laughs> wow! Did they, they call it that. It, they said champion as much as possible. You know what? I think this is the free show that uh, Russell fans going to. <laughs> but <laughs> they did. Oh, they did uh, interviews in the back, that. in front of that cork board. <laughs> <laughs> in front of the cork board. With the, with the, uh, yeah, with the they're sponsored by Slim Jim, apparently. With the poster board that says. Uh, a uh, 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 five dollar wrestling, but um, the tournament only had like four guys wrestling <laughs> each other. <laughs> like the, the first match, the first match. It's not even they were under masks or anything like that. No, they were. Okay. Uh, I was getting there. Like it was, <laughs> it was hilarious, and I I can't even describe it properly. 
like <laughs> okay like in one match job. in one match the wrestling was so bad how bad was it that sounds awesome <laughs> and then like as it as the show went on it got better <laughs> and, and, and they were commenting on the fact that those guys had to to, to take it down a notch because their wrestling was too good <laughs> but I mean I, I, the Makes comments it, it is seriously uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 for wrestling with, <gasps> with, with Colt Cabana that's, that's two of my favorite things in the world yep <laughs> yeah, it, didn't we play with this idea like what if we did like a riff tracks for like Wrestlemania or yep, ACW they're already or something doing like it. that and they're doing this and yes. on top of they've created their own wrestling that yes. goes along with this yes. that's tremendous that is completely tremendous it is amazing and I'm probably going to watch it again. How long was it? Uh, an hour and a half. Only an hour and a half? Okay, yeah. that's not bad. That's but not um, bad. the final match... <laughs> so, <laughs> the uh, uh, the match leading up to the uh, championship match, it was uh, this Samoan guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With quotes, okay. Yeah. And he had... I don't remember names. Sorry, I am really bad with names. Is it like the guy from PWO where it's like, he's not Samoan, he's just fat. Yeah. Uh, Like me. (laughs) He had to wrestle a guy under a mask. Yeah. Which, if you were paying attention to the DVD, is himself. (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) What? What? Yeah, it, it, it was himself. <laughs> Spoiler alert, they're yelling in the chat room. <laughs> but, awesome. So he comes out to the ring without the mask, and he's telling the ref to just go ahead and raise his hand because the guy in the mask isn't coming out. <laughs> and this huge fucking black guy comes out <laughs> whose name was Night Train. I remember this. <laughs> because Wow. He's yeah. a three, he's a th- night train. He's a three hundred pound like big ass black guy who sounds like Michael uh, Mike Tyson, and the mask doesn't even fit his head, <laughs> but he has the mask on his dome, insisting that he's that guy. <laughs> it sounds like Black Dynamite. <laughs> they have a character called Dynamite. <laughs> 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 oh, this sounds amazing! It's it, it is really cool. it's epic. Uh. It is it, it's pretty much the greatest DVD I've ever been able <laughs> to watch. <laughs> I, I'm gonna watch the uh, the Urban Wrestling League mm-hmm. and to see how that is. But I, I can already you, tell you, that you, it's, you can't. You don't think that's gonna no, really beat this? Not at all. So, so next week I'll go ahead and I'll. Oh my god! Here's a video where they had hit had the "It's Still Real to Me" guy <laughs> on on Five Dollar Wrestling. Oh no! Oh me, no! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. But I mean, it, it, this was just a, a champions tournament. And some of these championships are just amazing. Like, they had the American Championship. And it was seriously just a... Why are they hanging out at the merch table? They have a (laughs) China book. (laughs) Amazing. Who plays the gay guy that rapes teenage boys? uh, It's that guy. No, no, that guy. It's that guy? Yeah. (laughs) It's the the It's the uh, It's Still Real to Me guy. Oh, what? But um, it's yeah. He plays the gay pride champion. <laughs> wow. the, the it's still real to me guy plays the gay gay pride champion. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Is uh, this the guy with the big mask? <coughs> I believe so. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's night train. <laughs> so five dollar wrestling. I believe it's available. Uh, you can actually rent it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The full video actually on this YouTube. You can rent it for five dollars for ninety days <laughs> on, wow. the high, on the high spots YouTube page. I stumbled upon My this. Goodness. Cole Cabana's in this one. Yeah. <laughs> This is amazing. This is, this is, I mean, we've seen these kind of alternate use, like, was it was uh, a not hybrid, uh, but there was a Fed up in Cleveland that was, is, it was, it was by oh, workers. What was it? 
Beyond wrestling? Beyond, yeah, where there was like by workers for workers. So the they were like literally just in this training warehouse and it was the wrestlers were the audience and they wrestled and they put out DVDs. <laughs> I, I wonder I wonder if they're still around. But um yeah, wow. it's, underground wrestling. It's amazing. Yes. Amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and just tell you guys that if you're not watching $5 wrestling, then fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> fuck what you say. Fuck what you say. <laughs> exactly. Hey, what else is going on in the wrestling world that you want to talk about, guys? The Muppets uh, were on Raw last we night. We talked about the Muppets. No, we <laughs> mentioned. Nothing, ain't nothing else to talk we about. Oh, I, know. It's, it's Muppets. You know, okay. I, I love the, I love the Muppets on. on Raw, and I thought it was a great, you know, everything was great. All the segments were hilarious. The only minor complaint, and yes, this is very minor. Uh, th- there was not enough Fozzie Bear. There wasn't. Enough I, wanted, I grew up on general. Fozzie Bear. There wasn't a Muppet. Mu- was, that general, was man. my Muppet. Okay. That was your Muppet. Too much, too much wrestling. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Although I, I, I read that it was the the Muppets had in their contract they get a spot in every segment on Raw. Yeah, but really? he, I mean Fozzie only had that one segment with Gonzo in the back, and he, you know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I Gonzo swear those guys right? probably had a blast doing that, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Come absolutely. on. Seamus got to see his cousin Beaker. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing is, the Brilliant. only thing that would have made that better is if he would have talked like him. I'm surprised. I'm surprised, like, Jack Swagger and, like, Dolph Ziggler actually kept a straight face while pulling the arms of Gonzo. <laughs> That's no easy thing to do, man. No, no, no. What well, was hey, Gonzo wearing? It was his wrestling, wrestling outfit. His wrestling gear, yeah. obviously. Um, and yeah, and we talked about this last night. You know, realize like everybody in the back grew up on Muppets, you know. So yeah. I mean, it had to be a pretty, uh, pretty big. Uh, uh, the only ones that complained before. about it were the Smarks on the internet, and their childhood died years ago. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Every so. single person they show, they saw, they showed. Were, was trying not to crack up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, you know, other than the fact that they're, they, that they are like, I'm talking to a damn puppet. Yeah, you know, I mean, come on. <laughs> the maybe, argument maybe between Bunsen, Vicky and Miss Piggy's face. What, what, what was that? Maybe Bunsen gave something to Evan Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> and a wellness pulse. Yeah, to make him bleep. I mean, Santino Morella <laughs> is now in violation of the wellness policy. I didn't hear anything about that yet. So, but um, <laughs> hey, he didn't swallow. Oh. Oh, uh, that's what she said. Why? What? What? what is, he, is he? Is he a, a diva on SmackDown? <laughs> no, yeah, you guys no, heard about that. Okay. We should talk about that. What? Is, what is that? You were talking about that last night. What is? I, what is no, this rumor? I mean, I I, it's a weird Oro backstage agreement. rumor. But what are you talking about, Russell? Well, Chris Masters, who has a, I guess, an internet show or yeah, something. Yeah, he started the internet show bandwagon as well. So they all started their shit after. Uh, his After the man. Dancing pecs. Yeah, Chris Masters uh, revealed on the show a uh, what he says is a SmackDown diva is um, d- ha- has an oral agreement with uh, uh, get it Lyra- he means wieners with Michael Hayes <laughs> um, in order to keep her job. Oh, Eve. now someone else brought that up in the Google Hangout last night and he told us to speculate on who it was. I Eve, said it was Rosa Mendez. Because how the fuck does she still have a job? Yeah, Who did you say? True. Rosa Mendez. That's, uh, that's true. Smackdown. Remember when she was uh, hanging out with somebody? Beth Phoenix? Zack yeah. Ryder? Or Zack Ryder? What? No, I don't remember that. Was, it, was she with Zack Ryder? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she, she was his manager for a while. Woo, woo, woo. She blowed it. Wait, <laughs> <whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait hold on. You get hold points on. there. Look. What's up, Chuch? No, put it back on Lunchbox. On Lunchbox? Yeah. Okay. There's someone behind you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it kind of looks like there is. This is creepy shit, man. Sorry. Wow. What the hell? I couldn't help it. There's an open door and a dark doorway, and it kind of looks like there's someone behind them. It's our truth! We're going go- ghost hunting. Uh, I was watching that last night, too. What? 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 Oh, did they do their... Uh, what? What? So what? 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 Was it? Was, it, was there a wrestler on Ghost Hunters again? No, no, it was just the live one. They were uh, at Raw. They should have had CM Punk on. Every wrestler, CM, CM Punk kind of kind of knew what he was doing. <laughs> every wrestler in the company was on Raw last night. That's true. That's true. So. Because if the Muppets are hosting Raw, 
Your ass is going whether you're working or not. Even the people, yeah, yeah, even the people weren't that. called. We're, we're like, I'm hanging out raw. <laughs> yep. Lita was hanging out raw. Whatever, you know. <laughs> Remember when Lita went to raw because she liked uh, Pee Wee Herman? Very did remember. No, because remember, because no, Pee Wee Herman I was, on, remember that. was doing uh, that backstage Isabel. thing, and he's like, "Right, Lita," and then she came out, and I'm like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> what the fuck is she doing here? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, when Rock and Roll Outlaw uh, uh, heard that Taker and Michelle were backstage too, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, like, where were they last night? No, actually, uh, they weren't at Raw. They were at SmackDown. Okay. Didn't we say Undertaker was the only one that didn't grow up with Muppets? <laughs> he ate the Muppets. We did, we did. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, other things going no on. no Justin Gabriel. No Justin Gabriel? Oh, well, I thought he was because, he was because Justin Gabriel is, is a Muppet. He was backstage. Isn't he calling himself the werewolf now? Of something? The werewolf of retard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, a note from WWE. Is anyone watching these... Um, these like after raw videos. No, nope. yeah, they're backstage and stuff like that, and like they have interviews, like sort of interviews about what's going on. It's, yeah, it's, the Cape Town Werewolf. It, it's kind of interesting, like okay, and it, it's kind of using to build stuff. For example, the week before on Raw, they did a thing where Eve uh, got her bag stolen. Who cares then, about Eve and her stupid bag? Okay, no, let me listen. And then Beth Phoenix and Natalia. Well, let me listen. Twitter, and started ripping up uh, her clothing in like twit pics. Uh, this week, Eve jacked Beth in Natalia's car while they stopped at a convenience store. <laughs> Eve's a wow. bitch. Taking their That's, she's a criminal. Away. She should be put into prison. She should be. She has no right to dress as Robin. <laughs> That well, you gotta understand. Listen. I mean, this, they're always trying to do stuff to get your your interest to stay on the website so they can get their hits and everything. I mean, and they're hoping they come up with the next Tim White angle that ended up on the OMG DVD. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Tim the White. greatest, uh, the Tim White angle. The, the winners of the costume contest last night were the Bellas. Okay. What? Yeah. Fuck you no. guys. Okay. Now no. wait, wait, wait. Are you? No. Uh, is it not a little bit weird to feel attracted to a lady wearing a mustache like that? No, because nope. her skirt was at her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Old Fair shit, point. and you know Fair why point. I call bullshit. Why is that? I, li- I like nothing is better than AJ as Katana from Mortal Kombat. God damn it! I got some nerd cred. You gotta admit, I have I have a soft spot for AJ and anything that she does. I have a soft spot for her too, and I will fight you. I, I think want to, more I want to well, 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 first, of all, first of all, I think both of you have a hard spot for her. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen anything our except winners. for uh, hey. um, But uh, it, I don't know. I don't know. It really feels like every time she's on TV, somebody's trying to sell her on a dating site. Yeah. I yes, mean, that, that is the weird thing happening awesome. with Divas. But no. And it's working. Uh, I kind of I like It's uh, because Natalia Russell Fan doesn't Divas. like girls yet. She looks my age, in all honesty. No, so she I'm look guessing 12. I have somewhat of a She doesn't chance. look 12 for us. That's weird for LB. Yeah, that's very weird. <laughs> but, but she doesn't like hipsters. Well, no, no. it's fine because she, LB's she registered on a special website, so. <laughs> Chachi. What? <laughs> hey, she tweeted, or she tweeted we're, back. We, I thought we weren't going to talk about our swingers webs tonight. Uh, <laughs> I was talking about the amb- the uh, the Amber's list where, you, where you're supposed to... To let people know that you're registered. Wow. Amber's list? What is, is that it? What Megan's is, Law? Megan's Law, that's it. I knew, it was, I knew it was a child's <laughs> name. Who is Amber? I don't know. No, when a kid goes Amber missing, it's Amber alert. alert. Oh, okay. That's and Riz makes out of wood point. She doesn't look like a fetus. Listen. I, She's the only one that looks like I could have a chance with her. I'm not registered on Megan's me. Law, therefore I don't need to remember the real name of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, we got like two wow. different things going on here. I, uh, let me bring it back around because I, I think Wrestle Fan's going to take his pants off if he hasn't already. Probably. Here's, oh, here's something else that's really cool. Uh, the new the poster is out for uh, t- the TLC pay per view. Check yes. it out, Ice Cream Boss. <laughs> Ice cream bar. Nice. That is awesome. CM Punk in the ice cream bar with the table ladder and chair on it. <laughs> Please, guys, wait, WWE, release the ice cream bars and I do that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's two things that WWE has done promotionally with ice cream bars. CM Punk, if he does nothing in his career, he will be synonymous with the WWE ice cream bar, bar uprising comeback. 
And the sad thing is, they don't have to use good humor. Fuck good humor. Ask another ice cream company. Yeah, I'm fucking... Ah, oh, screw good humor. Oh, no, it was Hostess, actually. No, it was good humor. I can't name another ice cream company. It was there good was... humor. He's like, yeah, fuck them. How about... Uh... Mm. I would say I would say that Ben and Jerry's could do a CM Punk ice cream flavor, but it would be straight edge vanilla, and that's all. That's all it would be. It would just be vanilla, and that would be perfect. Though (laughs) I'm pretty sure Ben and Jerry's don't do regular. They'll have like like chocolate covered Pepsi balls. Mm. Uh, No straight edge means no extra. <laughs> Did you try the potato chip one? I've heard about this. I've heard about this. It's the, good, actually. The Jimmy Fallon yeah, uh, late night snack. I have potato chips in my ice cream. I'm sorry. <laughs> Riz it's says, good. Riz says no Riz. nuts, no chocolate, and it's still better than you. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, be CM Punk. Cool. Well, it could be Thank CM man. Punk's best in the world. Yeah. You know, here's another one. If, if, if pro wrestlers had a Ben and Jerry's flavor, what would it be? Let us know. Uh, hit us That's on Twitter. Hit us on the, on the email in the chat room here. CM, CP Monk. What? <laughs> You've never heard of CP Monk? What's CP Monk? And Colt Cabunny? Oh, no, I've heard about this Colt Cabunny because I was just watching something on, um, on, um, well, uh, think Chikara. of C, okay, what Colt Cabunny is, think of CM Punk, but a squirrel. It's like a chipmunk. <laughs> it's a chipmunk. It's different. Chipmunk. You Fine, didn't grow whatever. up with Alvin the Chipmunks because you were a fetus. You're you were still less a, than a fetus. fetus. You are a fetus. You were just Guys. an embryo. Guys, chocolate covered pretzel logs and call it Ben and Jerry's pipe bomb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no nuts. Can we so go he's back to yelling fetus at Russell fan? <laughs> 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 Every week? Okay. Fetus. He's starting to get pissed Hipster off. Fetus. You can hear it in his voice. He's yeah. starting to get pissed. It's the angry. I don't you know what's going to make yeah. everybody feel better? The headbangers are back. Remember fetus. Those guys? The headbangers. <laughs> fetus. That's not going to make anyone feel better. No. no. The headbangers uh, uh, cut promos on all the three major champions these days. And oh. uh, I, I recommend checking them out. Uh, but they ha- they are uh, uh, champions of the universe, I think it was. Uh, here's our video on uh, Air Boom. A little bit. What do you expect in return? How about a thank you? Boom. A smile. Hey, wait. Anything? Do you know who we are, buddy? We Not win where you're at. We're former WWE Tag Team Champions. Oh. I'm hearing a lot of videos. Yeah, there's a couple there's going. Uh, but uh, but yeah, go check <laughs> that out. Uh, they're over at uh, Wrestle Ax- Wrestle Access with two X's. I hope Beaver uh, Cleavage comes back. I hope. Cleavage. I hope someone brings back remember. Duke. Remember Chaz? I hope someone just runs into the video one time and kicks them in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. So not fans of the headbangers. I, I, doing seriously, a I just want some random person to run on screen, deliver a <laughs> fucking foot to their ball sacks, and run away. <laughs> and then watch like them. That. And then watch like them for the five bangers. minutes rolling around crying because uh, that dude just kicked them in their non-existent dicks. And uh, they, they originated the cone bra. <laughs> no, actually, I think Voltron uh, originated oh. the comb bra, good, as we learned point, in the Comic Con. Yeah. Um, so it yeah, is Sonic another... Screwjob has it right—a well, good old-fashioned package stomping. There's another video that popped <laughs> up for, but uh, Stone Cold Steve Awesome or Beep Steve what? Austin uh, on Funny or Die. Uh, where he's in trouble for his whoop ass line of uh, canned goods. Is that uh, Rafi from Lee? Little... Your products are hurting people. I stand behind my products 100%. Two men were killed by bears. How do you respond? I think I want to know. As the Americans, do you feel sorry for what you've done? Our number one goal has always been about quality. And you failed. We had a bad batch. Who'd you say you failed? I'm not going to say the whole batch. product. Is so we had a bad batch. Something went wrong. I love Steve Austin. I want you to watch something. Tell me what you think. Sup, twerp. Tired of you guys bullying me. What you got there? <laughs> a can of whoop ass? I'm going to whoop your asses with it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got a bad can of whoop ass. Do you know what happens I to know. him next? He is thrown in an empty pool that he cannot get out of. They had to take skin from. Hey, his that's uh, fucking. That's Ted Raffy from the league. 
Rock is it really? <laughs> <laughs> you got what do you thought though? But it was funny because every time that says Stone Cold, they had to beep it. I presume for copyright infringement. Um, <laughs> oh. But uh, but yeah, it's over at FunnyAirDie.com. We tweeted it earlier this week. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> so Stone Cold Steve Austin in front of the whoop ass graphic. But uh, but yeah, he had a bad match. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve what? Austin, a funny guy. Um, so yeah. Um, what? If you're not watching the league, watch it. <laughs> yeah, fucking watch the league. <laughs> fucking watch. But you gotta fucking you fucking watch the league. <laughs> what? The Riz pointed out that that's Russell fans' early acting career. Oh, oh yeah, is that what happened to him? Yeah. That explains a and lot. And that was last year. They had to take a. <laughs> they had to take skin from his butt and put it on his head. Yeah. 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 <laughs> awesome. Anything else, guys? We want to uh, uh, hit on before we get out of here. What? Fetus. What? what? Fetus. What? Fetus. What? Fetus. Yes. All right, I'm done. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, time to learn. What did you learn from wrestling this week? Chachi? Um, well, I learned that uh, Seamus is related to Beaker. Um, Dr. Honeydew makes performance-enhancing drugs. <laughs> and uh, Miss Piggy ball-tapped hornswoggle. <laughs> <laughs> That's still great. That was legit, though. Like, the Hardswoggle <laughs> got a tattoo this week, yeah. and it was the Muppets. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> that's that's great. LB, what you, Muppet. what'd you learn this week? Um, I learned that uh, Gonzo uh, sells better than Ric Flair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Hot Wheels, what'd you learn? I learned that, uh, actually, it's kind of like what Lunchbox said, but on more of the Kermit the Frog sells better than most of the guys in WWE to Jack Swagger. All right. Bobby, what did you learn? I learned that um, Bunsen caused Evan Bourne to uh, violate the wellness policy by making him leap higher. (laughs) <laughs> I leap. want to leap Leaping Leaping leap. higher Leap 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 Leaping lizards What the hell <laughs> Russell Finn leap. What'd you learn To this week I, oh, I learned from Raw Last night That uh, That's the first time In my entire life That I've ever fantasized Of having a three way With myself Katana And Dog the Bounty Hunter um, yeah, your oh obsession over the dog, the bounty hunter outfit Ugh. is kind of weird. Uh, it was fucking awesome. That's what it was. Is, I, I, that's, that's, you know, and, my, and that's the only time I actually like Michael Cole because he said he thought it was Michael Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I give him that. All right. Even All right. King laughed at that one. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Uh, in the chat room, your craps week learned that the Muppets are better than wrestling. Uh, Sonic Screwjob learned that Russell Fan didn't get any of his email references. I saw that. Oh, that reminds me. I want to give uh, 50 points to Sonic Screwjob for excellent email references this week. Well done. Uh, Rock yeah. and Roll Outlet learned, learned that Kermit is kind of a pimp. And Riz <laughs> learned that Michael Cole may like ass injuries and diseases associated with asses. Mm. Sorg. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, also, Sonic Screwjob learned that Cody has bags for everyone. <laughs> Yeah, even that it. <laughs> that was great. Oh so, man, what do you, uh, you guys? From wrestling? You guys really. Uh, um, I yeah, learned this week. I'm going to go indie on you guys. You guys really covered the Muppets uh, and just about everything I got. Uh, I learned that Crystal Frost can take a uh, knee knee to the ovaries uh, from the top of a ten foot ladder. That like was fucking, wicked. I saw like the video. A fucking champ, and I want to high five her every time I see her at a show. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, uh, you guys get a chance. Go to YouTube. My father-in-law was was uh, was sitting two rows back on that side, and yeah, yeah, uh, he he was uh, pretty. Did he get splashed with ovary goo? I think uh, he definitely <laughs> did get splashed with ovary goo. Uh, I will have to ask. I'm sorry, him I saw I'll ask him that. Story. I will ask him that question for you, LB. <laughs> that video was shit. wicked. Where's the video just at? Off. It's on YouTube. Uh... I think I may have found it. Okay, uh, is it on? Is, is it in the chat room? I'm posting in the chat. Hold on. All right. Well, we'll this will be Yeah, our, that was seriously. This will be I'm our parting for. moment from the Wrestling Mayhem show. This week. Uh, some chick getting nailed in the ovaries. <laughs> somebody somebody getting uh 
getting fixed the hard way. That um, kicked in the twat. Oh, yeah, more than that. It was this it. Oh, it was cool. Okay, she starts climbing. Until you see it. A go okay, five, kicking the twat. Oh my god. Uh huh. All right, you got Patrick Hayes up here, and yeah, and shit. and goes up, and goes up, and goes up. Well, let's see if this loads. There we go. And uh, oh, this this is a fan in the front row. Look at that. And kaplow! Oh, right in the ovaries. That like way more <laughs> devastating. Legs person. right there. Wow, I thought she, <laughs> I thought she bounced more. Right in the um, twat. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> Are you <laughs> making a joke great about her boobs? So it was a great ladder match Boom. too. They actually had uh, the ladder hanging, which you don't see at any shows. The ladder oh. hanging. Yeah, or the the, the, the belt, belt hanging. hanging. The belt hanging. Uh, which you don't see too much. I didn't. I'd like to see a ladder match with a hanging ladder. That'd be awesome. That would be great. I think RWA did it too, right? When you guys had a ladder yeah, match, we yeah. had a ladder match. Yep. You know, like the actually, did you, the... you hang the ladder? Not no. It was the well, belt. Then fuck you and everyone that looks like you. Hey, you know, you know, <laughs> that's it. I want a match against you, Lunchbox. Wow. That's it. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. We'll take this shit outside and then we'll uh, uh, look around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Excellent, guys. Thanks a lot for joining us again. It's a Wrestling Mayhem show. We're here every Tuesday for this crazy shit live Body at SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, check out everything else at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, Twitter us at Mayhem Show. We got plenty of stuff and some questions from tonight for you guys to answer. And you can also email us at Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS-09670. Check out the app. Follow us on Facebook. Check us out on the YouTube, the iTunes, the Mediafly, the Roku boxes, all that kind of stuff. We're all over the place. If we're not on your device, email us at that thing, and we'll try to get on it. Uh, until next time, this is Sorg for this uh, crazy crew of goofballs. I'll see you guys next week. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.